We all know the temptation of ice cream and candy, especially as the kids get out of school and the structure of meal time kind of goes out the window. Yeah, that happens. So how do you stick to a healthful diet when the call of ice cream and the ice cream truck is so easy to answer? Well, joining us now for Transformation Tuesday is weight loss coach and wellness consultant Jackie Hale. Thank you for joining us, Jackie. And t tell us, how do we trick ourselves out of sweets? Because we most of us have a sweet tooth. Yes, and it's hard. And so I had to learn the hard way, right? I remember one time it was like, Oh, there's ice cream truck. And when you, you know, accidentally on purpose shove a 10 year old to get your soup. <laughs> that's no. when you have to But I learned how to read nutrition labels. And what I found is that so many of our snacks have so much extra sugar, and that's what gets us in trouble in the summertime. So we're moving and exercising, but we're taking in so much extra sugar that we might just add on more pounds and not even be aware of it, even if we're trying to be healthy. So using the natural sugars in our fruits are the perfect way to do it. and have some really easy options, and it's a great way to support our local farmers markets. Okay, so let's get into it then. What are some of your options to keep us on track this summer? So first of all, um, the the easiest one would be the cotton candy grapes. Cotton candy frozen grapes. So I don't know how many of you have ever tried this, but cotton candy grapes are delicious. I like easy, quick, good. So literally, you just get a bag of cotton candy grapes <laughs> and you rinse them off. You can take them off of the stem, put them in a serving, put them in a baggie, leave them in the freezer overnight for, you know, eight hours. The next day you have these frozen grapes that are delicious. Sometimes people like to drizzle a little bit of sweetener over them, but they are so sweet that they don't need anything else added to them. David had never heard of cotton candy grapes. You are rocking my world, Jackie, because I, when I saw this on the list for today, I literally thought, oh, is she gonna wrap grapes in cotton candy? Jackie would uh, never do that. <laughs> no, 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 that's not what it is. No. Well, now it's amazing, but uh, yeah. Uh, well, you know what? They are, they sound amazing by themselves. So yeah. I want to try them and find out what they taste like. The other thing you have on your list: Greek yogurt parfait popsicles. Wow. Yeah. So this actually can even double as a breakfast. So a few episodes ago, we talked about some quick breakfast bowls, and essentially all I've done is taken the Chobani Greek yogurt, put a lot of nice fresh fruits, chopped them up some vanilla bean granola. I like the good and gather at Target. It doesn't have a ton of sugar in it. It's a very simple ingredient. You take that 32 ounces of Chobani yogurt, mix the fruit in, fold that in carefully. Now you can put the parfait um, pieces with the granola at the bottom, but I like to mix them in so that they're nice and soft. Then I just take simple popsicle trays and fill them up, put the sticks in, put them in the freezer. You can get five to eight servings. It's high in protein. You have carbs in your natural fruits. If you want to sweeten it a little bit, you can do a little stevia or truvia on it, but just a little bit. Just a little bit. Well, you have the natural sweetener from all of the great fruit. Yeah. And sticking with the theme of stopping by the farmer's market to get some options, you have a recipe for a fresh summer peach yeah. sorbet. Peach sorbet is my favorite. I love summer peaches. They are delicious. And you literally can take six peaches, peel them, freeze them, get a half a lemon, squeeze and get the juice, just a pinch of kosher salt. Truvia comes in, you know, packets in the loose form, but you can do two tablespoons plus a teaspoon to sweeten it up a little bit more. You put that in a food processor, blend it up nice and creamy, and you can put it in like a lemon loaf pan or a bowl, stick it in your freezer and you have sorbet. And oh. it's delicious. Okay, Jackie, before we let you go, it is summer, you're wearing sleeveless, and I know how hard you work. And so I just wanna say, you look amazing and your arms Thank incredible you. you are like goals right now Thank you i'm trying i'm working I have a really big goal coming up soon i'll share with you all um in a few months but well, well you look we'll great there. we're thank excited to hear yeah and thank, thank you. you for opening my eyes to cotton candy grapes <laughs> i can't wait to try them now jackie <laughs> yes it, it kept me from knocking children over at the at the ice cream truck. That's good. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. And, and we're going to keep that in mind. Note to self, cotton right. candy grapes are better than ice cream. Mm -hmm. And we're going to have more with Jackie throughout the summer as we continue to bring you ideas for your own Transformation Tuesdays. Yeah. And you can find Jackie's recipes for smart summer snacks on our website, PittsburghTodayLive.com.